Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, which feels weird saying, considering I've been speaking about doing this for a very long time and I have put it off, but today I just decided, you know what, let's just do it. I've just gone and got myself a little meal deal, so I thought, you know what, let's just sit in the car, um, answer some of your questions so you can get to know me a bit more. I don't even know if I've said my name yet. Hi, I'm Gabby. So I was going to get a coffee and then I decided actually I've had enough coffee for today so let's get a meal deal instead and sit and talk to you guys. For my meal deal I got something very different to what I usually get today. I usually get a sandwich to be honest. Can you guess my order? Am I a basic girly? You can let me know if I am. I got sushi which I never usually go for you know so I love sushi but I'd never choose it for my meal deal. And then I got a grenade protein bar because i'm kind of obsessed with these and then i just got this basic and got a water i usually get a pepsi max i already have one so yeah we're gonna we're gonna stop at one for today and just stick with water god it's so hot for anyone who lives in the uk at the moment finally we've got a bit of sun this summer i'm literally sweating so apologies if my face is really red let's give these a go first and then i will get into some of the questions if you're watching this get a little snack and eat along with me i guess Cheers. Mm, so good. Delicious. I'm such a messy eater. Oh my god. I'm stop eating. So I put a question box out on my Instagram and wanted you to ask me some questions. First one, which kind of is a good one to start with, is how old am I? I am 23. Um, I don't look it. I've got a baby face. Yes, I still get ID'd for energy drinks. And yes, I still get ID'd for paracetamol. But yeah, I am actually 23. Next question is, what did I study at university um, and do I regret going to uni? So I studied exercise, nutrition and health. I went to Nottingham Train Uni. Do I regret going to uni? No, I don't. Uh, the whole experience was amazing. The people I met, it's great having a degree and stuff. I've not used it yet, so I guess you could say I, didn't, I don't need it yet. But um, I think it will come in handy, so I definitely don't regret it. I'm very independent, so I do miss being at uni. I met a lot of my best friends for life and my boyfriend actually. So no, I don't regret it. Let's put it like that. Next question. It's so hot in here. Oh my God, I'm literally sweating. A lot of people ask me what actually HA means because on my Instagram account, I share all things fitness, health, recipes. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram, then please go check it out. I will have everything down below. I mention and talk about my HA journey all the time. And I have a few people actually ask me what actually is it? So HA stands for hypothalamic amenorrhea. And to anyone watching, that'd be a load of gobbledygook. But for people that have had it or have it had issues with their menstrual cycles and periods, then they may have actually heard of it before. I'm gonna talk about my journey and how I got my period back and everything in another video. So I'm not gonna ramble on about that. And it basically means a loss of a menstrual cycle for uh, more than three months. So when a girl loses a period, it's a sign that your body's not healthy and is down to stress. And the stress can be caused by things like under eating, over exercising. That's what HA is. I've just had to switch the engine on because it's so hot in here. Sushi interval. There's literally a dog barking outside my window. Mm. Next question is what I do for work. So at the moment, I kind of am in a bit of a rut. I'm not gonna lie which is part of the reason I've created this channel now because I've got time on my hands to do so. I set up online coaching and I worked as a gym instructor in a gym last summer um, to save up to go traveling um, after uni. So I've just been traveling around Southeast Asia for four months with my best friend and I had the time of my life. Like it was fantastic and it was such a high and now I've come home and I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. Um, I know the route I wanna go down, but I don't know specifically what I'm gonna do. So I'm kind of in that rut stage at the moment. Um, but this summer's about figuring it out, applying for jobs, um, seeing what takes my fancy. I'm trying not to put stress on myself. And if anyone is a girl in their twenties and they feel pressure that they should know what they're doing right now, then try not to. You're not on your own anyway. We'll all work out. And that's what I keep telling myself. At the moment, just doing part-time work 
I'm doing my social media. Uh, so at the moment, graduate, no job, just back from traveling, that's me. My phone literally just overheated from the sun, so cut the video off. I'm hoping it's safe. Let's carry on. Someone asked me, what are my current fitness goals? Anyone who has followed my page for a while and would know that really got into running last year um, and I ran my first marathon and I was so proud. It was also at my peak strengths. I was hitting my PBs and everything and then I went traveling and I didn't exercise. Um, don't get me wrong, I did a lot of walking and I did the occasional gym workout and the occasional run. So when I've come back, I've lost a lot of my fitness and my strength. So current fitness goals at the moment, building back up my stamina, my fitness, so I can get my running back to where it was. Sorry, I ramble so much. I wanna train for high rocks. Me and my boyfriend have been talking about applying for mixed high rocks. That's kind of something that I wanna work towards. I wanna be doing another marathon. Um, so yeah, they're the main goals at the moment. So this one's probably a bit TMI, for any boys watching a few people actually asked if i've got my period back regular now yes i've had a regular period for quite a while now yeah fully healthy next question this was a really good question actually how to not get influenced by diet culture how to not compare yourself to like other people on social media this is something i really used to struggle with like when i was younger but i was always comparing which is why i ended up having disordered eating when i I was always thinking I wasn't good enough. I always wanted to be smaller and there was never an end point. Like I was never happy with myself. By setting up my fitness account as well, it really helped me to learn that there's so much more to life than what you look like. You're not going to change. You are who you are, Just own who you are. Because everyone's so different and everyone's got something so special about themselves. So I always just think, like, don't try to be someone you're not, just be yourself. Yes, there's always times with girls where we're gonna have bad bo body image days and body dysmorphia. What I always said to my girls with online coaching was positive self-talk. That really helped me. Journaling, if that helps you, go for it. You're gonna have days where you feel worse than others. I sometimes wake up in the morning and think one day, wow, you look really beautiful today. And the next day I wake up and think, oh my God, Gabby, you look like a state. So it's totally normal. I do ramble, my God. What was the question again? How to not compare? It takes time. Um, I deleted all accounts that I found quite toxic and I, that I thought I was comparing myself to. So only follow accounts which you think will help you on your journeys or inspire you or motivate you. Don't follow accounts that are triggering you. And there's just no point. Okay, so someone else has asked me about tips for starting your own fitness account. I would just say do it. You started mine in lockdown during COVID. I genuinely just post content for enjoyment and whether it does well or not, I feel like as long as I help someone or entertain someone or um, I enjoy it then that's the main thing so you want to do it do it no one's stopping you don't fear judgment from others either like as you get older you realize no one cares what you're doing the people that judge you you don't need to be friends with um, be your own person and your people will come to you so I say just go for it to be honest I could talk for I could really just talk all day to be honest like for hours and hours and hours and I could answer more questions but my phone's gonna run out of storage. If you enjoyed this kind of like Q&A video, I'll do another one. In terms of content, uh, let me know what you wanna see. Welcome to my channel. I guess I should say it. Please subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching.